Shut up and sit down. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am the Cyber Reef Guru, and we're going to do a quick follow-up from the video that I posted the other day. Uh, what you see in front of you here is the part that I made, and the difference between the version 1 and version 2 parts really boil down to I added a um, chamfer here to help the uh, rods go into the part a little bit, and I also added a nice fillet here. Uh, the idea here was uh, the fillet would add a little more uh, stability to this pin. I also uh, chamfered the end of the pin as well. Uh, but the idea here was a little bit more stability and a little more rigidity to the pin. Um, so I made it. Um, definitely added more rigidity. Uh, that's what I was looking for. However, uh, not enough. Um, only took about uh, two seconds worth of actual implementation time before um, the pin snapped off and I ended up with uh, uh, with a, um, a part that uh, wouldn't work. So what you see here in front of you is the actual parts printed. I've actually, if you can see it, glued uh, the entire thing together already. Um, and here is the pin. You can see the fillet here. It actually looks quite wonderful. Again, the printer did an excellent job. The issue here is the uh, forces in play here here are really uh, there's a rod that comes out here a wooden rod and the forces here are all linear um, perpendicular to the pin itself and so the printing is actually this way as well so the layers are uh, parallel to the forces which for this particular 3d print and for many others um, that's actually a significant liability now I suppose I could maybe uh, print a device like this and get the the rings this way it might add a little extra stability. I might try that um, But an easier fix actually is to uh, remove the pin put a hole and use the wood dowels Inside to make the connection um, that's going to provide the most stability and not rely on the 3d printed part But what I also wanted to show you here is turns out um, this PLA uh, Maybe if I were to use pet G, it would turn out better more strong or even ABS, but uh, this pin, um, when I first grabbed it, it felt pretty stable, you can see there. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot of force. I grabbed it pretty hard the first time, yanked it, it had a little, little teeny crack, um, and then uh, a quarter of that force, and it just snaps right off, you can see here snaps right on the print lines. Um, I increased the fill density here to thinking that would help as well. Uh, and again, it did. Um, it's just that because it's printed this way, um, it's not really adding that stability I was looking for. So again, uh, might try printing it this way so that the uh, part is printing up this way. we we'll have to add overhangs here. The reason I printed it this way is so I didn't have to have any overhangs. Um, but uh, again, the easy solution is just uh, I'll just drill this hole out, tap it, use the wooden rod and we'll salvage the part and salvage the design. Um, so all right, um, I'm gonna play around with the design a little bit here and remove the pin, put a, put a chamfer in, put a hole in, and print a couple more, um, and we should be done. Okay, well, hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, again, if you don't, uh, give it a thumbs up anyway. Um, tell your friends, tell your family uh, what an awesome video it was, and uh, spread the word. Uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks.